Hey guys, I'm back again doing um, another soap for the August 2016 soap challenge, the dancing funnel or, or traveling funnel or faux funnel, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's fun and I'm going to do one for you right now. I did get everything mixed up and into my squeeze waddles and everything. Um, as you can see, I've got an impression mat I'm laying in the bottom of my mold here. This is a cardboard mold, but I wanted the specific size. I don't have a mold this size. Um, this is my scaly impression mat. I'm really pumped to use it again. What I'm going to do, too, before I start is just get the most thin layer of black um, on the bottom here because I don't want the pattern to show up on the scales. I want that to just be plain because I'm going to do some mica on the top with that later. This doesn't fill my mold entirely, and I did just didn't have a cardboard box that was the exact fit, but I'll trim off the edges um, for samples. We are finally starting to get kind of thick with this um, fragrance here too. This is a blend. It did rice a tiny bit when I poured it in. It blended out immediately though, like it wasn't a permanent ricing or anything like that. Um, but it did rice and it is going to discolor a little. Now I meant to pour my separate colors before I put the fragrance in and I, I forgot what I ended up doing because I dumped it in. I ended up trying to like scoop some of the soap batter out um, before the fragrance got blended in. So hopefully I salvaged it enough a little bit. Um, we'll see. It's not vanilla that discolors it either. So um, a stabilizer would kind of be useless for it. So we'll see what happens. My colors, I have uh, the black as you can see. Also a hot pink, uh, bright green, and white. Those are going to be the rings, and when I say rings, I mean the smaller pores of this technique. Just trying to get the whole impression mat covered. I'm not as concerned with the edges, but I might as well now that it's kind of over there already. Hooey, all right. This is starting to thicken up a little bit too, so I'm just going to go for it. The fragrance, um, there are two fragrances that I blended, so I'm not even sure which one riced it. Um, but all together, I actually had to write it down. The scent notes are lime, lavender, lily, patchouli, ozone, greenery, violet, jasmine, geranium, musk, and grapefruit. So that's interesting. To me, though, it smells fresh. It smells... Um, it's it's floral, but not in the cloying floral sort of way, but just in a you're outside kind of way, if that makes any sense at all. Um, one of the scents to describe is masculine too, which I never thought of it as masculine, but it's definitely not super feminine either. So now, even though it's getting a tiny bit thick, I'm not too worried. The one I did earlier today ended up getting quite thick um, and I think it turned out awesome. What I ended up doing when I needed to was sort of almost inject my squeezes into the other one instead of letting it go right on top. I kind of stuck the poker kind of in there and that worked pretty good. So I'll do that if I have to today. Doing a bunch of random dots and then filling it in here with the black. My black, right? Yep. Wait, yeah, okay. Doing sort of a fast four count with the black squeezes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Get this first layer down and then I'll speed the rest of it up. Because it does take a long time to get all of the soap out. I think I'm going to call this one either Heavy Metal Mermaid or Punk Rock Mermaid. I haven't decided if this is more punk rock or heavy metal yet. I might not know until it's finished. Really hope my colors stay. A little air bubbly. Okay. 
All right, I got my first layer down. I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and uh, kind of just go for it here. It's going to take me a while. Okay, well, I'm going to stop there. I do have a decent amount of white left and a drizzle um, of pink and green and even maybe just a drizzle of black, but it's giving me air bubbles and I'm going to just stop there. These like triple air ones, I was not intending to do that, but it looks cool. It kind of looks like eyeballs <laughs> to me, <laughs> but I'm really excited about it. It smells super good. Uh, I'm very excited to cut it tomorrow and see what the cross section looks like too, but here we are. This is some type of mermaid. What do you think? Is this heavy metal or is this punk rock? I don't know. You tell me. I'm going to let it sit. I'm not going to do anything to the top. I'd love to swirl this, but at the same time, I love the way it looks right now. So I'm not going to swirl it. That I want it to be able to just, geez, excuse me, plane it and have it be its awesome self um, when I do cut into it. I'm going to put my leftover batter in an um, extra mold over here and uh, let it do its thing. So yeah, I'll cut into this tomorrow. You guys can watch me cut it right now. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a day since I made this beautiful, beautiful slab here. Um, and since then I realized I cannot even enter this into the soap challenge because my outer rings to the circles are different colors. It has to be the same. I can fill the circles with different colors but I did all black in the centers and different outers and I, I had it backwards basically. And when I was using up my batter and doing like multiple rings, I guess that's not allowed either. So a lot of rules with this challenge that I was just breaking. So whatever, I have to do another one, but that's okay because I enjoy doing this and I don't mind doing another one, but it does suck that I didn't realize that. One second. Apologies on that. That was my, um, I had to get my car inspected today, and that was the dealership calling me to tell me it was ready. So I had to pick it up, but I'm not going to get it until baby's awake. I also wanted to peel off the impression mat in front of you guys, because what I have here are some micas. I'm going to paint along um, 
the grooves of the impression mat. I'm not going to cut this if this doesn't dry by the time I'm done. I don't want to smudge the crap out of it because I'm going to kind of dip my brush into some alcohol. Um, but we'll see. Either way, you're going to watch me cut it um, after I do this anyhow. It's just how long I have to wait. Got some pink. Got some green. And this one's called Summit Turquoise. It's just one of those ones that like shines turquoise. I'm going to do that around the edges of the scales. <laughs> wap, wap. Check that out. This fragrance definitely turned... Uh, this is not as black as I thought it was going to be. It's a lot more like grayish with a green tinge. I'm wondering how bad it's going to discolor where I had the actual colors. Um, it probably will, but that's all right. What are you going to do? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, sort of paint some details on here. Try not to talk so I can just fast forward through that part. I don't want to bore the crap out of you. But yeah, around the edges here, I'm going to do with this um, sort of opalescent color. And then I'm going to alternate pink and green in the scaly sections. Okay, so let me get to it. What I'm going to be doing is spraying my brush down with some alcohol to kind of dampen it. It's almost like what you would do if you wanted to foil your eyeshadow, just barely damp, not soaking wet. Uh, but just dampen this so it goes on a little bit more boldly. I'm going to use the tinier brush for the in-betweens here. So I'm just spraying and dabbing over here. Nothing too fancy to look at. Now, the pink is picking up really well, and the green, not so much. I'm looking at it in person, and then I'm looking up at my screen and how it's looking through the camera. Totally more vibrant um, in front of my actual eyes here. Now, the edges, that with that little bit of turquoise, that's not super bold, uh, but that's the kind of thing where once it catches the light, you're really going to see it. Uh, but yeah, that, was, uh, that looks pretty cool, if you ask me. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to cut it now, because I think that it is dry enough to go ahead and do that. Also, I will say I ended up using way more alcohol on the brush uh, than I expected to. It applied much easier that way. And you can see I was using my fingertip on the edges here. The brush was like pushing it around. I just wanted to dust the tops there where it pokes out. Um, so my fingertip did the trick on that perfectly. So that is what happened. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way so I can get ready to cut here. Now, let me see. Whoops. Some salt from my other bar still on there. What I need to do before I do anything is I'm going to shoop down the middle. I think one cut like that is going to be better than doing it two times. I just want to boop, get it over with because I'm going to be using my crappy piece of wire uh, to do that. I want to make sure it's even though, so I have my tape measure over here. Let me get you in view. <laughs> this part's going to kind of suck a little bit. Just scooch, just to scoosh that way. Okay. <sighs> okay. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not not excited about this cut here. This sucks. If 
but I'm just gonna go straight down so that I can use my actual cutter to get into this guy. Hoping it's as straight as possible. If it's not super straight, I'll plane my boo boos away, but ooh, just hoping it's straight the first time. It actually wasn't so bad. It actually wasn't so bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah! That was bad though. Oh my god. Blah! Barf, 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 barf. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> there we go. It's not perfectly even. Like we're a little bit wonky, but. Me. What you gonna do? And then the top. Or is this the top? Or is this the top? <laughs> I don't really like that for right now. Oh, that sucked. That's my boo boo right there. So, yeah, that sucked, but oh well. Too late now. No use crying over spilt milk or squished soap. Yeah, we're not perfectly even. Like, we're kind of neat going that way, but that's okay. It's okay because we have no other choice, do we? It's gotta be okay. Alright. Now let me get my measuring thing out again here. Because I want to... I'm not worried about bonking the bottom, um, which is technically the top, because I'm planing that off. So that's why I have this part facing up right now. Okay. So that's nine. I want to do three inches. Oof. This is in my way. This is in my way. I'm going to have to take that off. <laughs> I can't take that off. Okay. Um, okay. Let me think here for a minute. Doing it hoopty style, guys. Sorry, Bud, Bud's Workshop. I... Need a little more room than what you gave me today. Because these are going to kind of be like three inch cubes, just about. Let's see. This is exactly two and a half. So first things first, I want to get the ends off. I might as well do the ends with my buds cutter. Yeah. But everything else is going to, you know, I'll do the, I'll do the ends after I do, after I get far. So I want to do three inches from where I'm going to be cutting the end off there. Zoop. Didn't expect that. I should have because I knew they were going to be three inches. I had to refresh my memory, but I did do the measurements earlier. That's okay. This isn't a bad setup, it's just kind of ghetto. <laughs> Planing the top off will make that extra cool. These are a little soft for planing though, because it's not been 24 full hours yet. I'll cut those bits off on my bud cutter, but let's set them aside for right now. Yeah, it sucks I can't enter these too. I should have paid attention. I honestly didn't get that far on the on the tutorial page um, to see what the specific pouring rules were. I didn't think about it, um, so it's my own fault. I just didn't expect them to be that specific. Um, which, hey, not a problem. Believe me, I would love to do this again, and I'm going to do it again. And I'll do it again in an enter-worthy type of way next time. Boop. Trim that end off of my bud cutter, too. These are nice little squares. Set it aside for now. Move you out the way. On to this guy. Whoops. Get you out of the way. I'm glad I saved this stuff, you know? That was from the rimmed soap challenge, if you remember that. I'm sure you do. Okay. That's about right. Boop. These are very mermaidy. I like it. Oh, if I didn't say this already, I know my, yesterday I wasn't sure if I wanted to call this heavy metal mermaid or punk rock mermaid. I asked my buddy Jess last night, and she's like, that's punk rock. That is punk rock AF, so <laughs> this is going to be called punk rock mermaid. 
This is a unisex sort of scent, so hopefully I don't throw any men off who might want it, but I think this is um, kind of good for anyone, really. And if you're a dude and a little bit of pink throws you off, or the term mermaid throws you off, then we probably shouldn't be friends anyways. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little goopy, but I am going to play in these. Not tonight. Um, they're not ready to be planed yet. All right, let's cut my edges off with my lead cutter now. Let's get this piece of junk out of the way. I'm sorry, you're not a piece of junk. You're helping me very much right now. <laughs> uh, soap. Got some fragrances coming tomorrow. I thought they are going to be here today, but they are not. That's okay, though. So I've got lots of stuff that I can... Um, think about doing this technique again with. This is going to be a nice little sample. And then here's this beautiful cube. Excuse me. There's where the boo-boo was. I'll probably, I'll probably bevel these. I'm definitely going to plain them because I want that to be smooth. It'll be interesting to see when I shave a little bit off what the pattern looks like. Now these are three inch squares basically not my normal shape of a soap um but with the impression mat it kind of worked out okay because it was um a six by nine inch impression mat basically when i do re redo my vermithrax soap i'm not going to do that as a rim soap because the impression got squished I don't know how Tatiana did that because she did use this exact mat in a rim soap and it was flawless. Of course it was flawless. Um, but mine was not, so I'm going to do it in a slab like this. There we go. This one's not quite a perfect square because this is where my cutting was a little janky, but it's still pretty nice. Set them aside. Oopsie. Yeah, this one's still pretty soft yet. I didn't do my normal super steep water discount, so it is showing in the softness of these bars, that's for sure. Yeah. Love that. There's the tadpole eggs slash eyeballs on that side. This is going to look a lot cooler when I plane it. It really is. But that needs at least a day. An extra day, rather. Yay, yay. Oh, I noticed another bonk mark. Right there. I bonked you. I'm so sorry, Soap. Forgive me. Yeah, like the sample bit that we have left here, like... That's fine. There's some there was leftover batter I had to put in a separate mold with this guy. So there'll be a lot of samples, but I've been running low on samples lately. I'm getting more orders than I am having soap samples, so doesn't hurt to have a lot. I'll be giving out a lot of this scent. These little guys I usually throw two or three in there because it's tiny. The more you order, the bigger your soap sample is too. Whoops. That's the baby monitor telling me, hey, I'm going to die in four hours. Charge me now. I'm going to shut that off because I'm almost done. And technically, I'm right underneath Tesla so I can hear her if she cries at me. Two left, anyhow. Yeah. Full prete. Big old corner slab. Look at that. Boom. You can tell from the cross section that my, oh, there's my dang air conditioner kicking in being loud. You can tell by the cross section that my batter got thicker than it should have. So by the time I have a soap that's enter worthy, hopefully I do have some thinner batter and it looks a little bit more like it should. I 
I just don't think it looks awesome, believe me. I don't think it needs to be super thin to be to, to look cool, but y'all know I want to win one of these dang soap challenges, so it's gotta be thin to win. <laughs> thin to win. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Let me kind of arrange these a tiny tiny bit here and y'all can take a peek. Of course I have the impression sticking out on all the sides here. But, da, 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 camera, come on. Oh, and you can't see shit because of the way the light is. Oh, well, I'm going to take tons of photos when I have these planed, um, which I'll be doing in a day or two when you guys can see the pictures right now at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I know this is a long one because um, there's so much involved. and try to fast forward through all the boring parts so it isn't too long and boring for you, but I appreciate you watching. If you're participating in the challenge, good luck. Can't s wait to see what you're doing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.